Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am here for another vlog and today I'm going to be redoing my bedroom. I have been thinking about and planning for this project for about six months. A long time, really long time. I've had this bedroom design for quite a while. I have already purchased all of my supplies and today is the day. I was actually planning to wait until tomorrow, but I thought it's cool outside today. I can open up the windows and today's a good day. Why not? Let's just get it done. So I've already bought all of my decorations, but I have no idea how they're gonna work together. <laughs> We're just gonna have to figure that out. And I've got my paint, I've got all my painting supplies and I'm ready, I think. I'm excited. So the inspiration for this was I was looking on Pinterest, of course, and I came across like an accent wall picture and I thought that was so pretty. And I already had a color in mind that I really wanted to use. It's like a dark green with like a hint of blue in it. It's so pretty. And I also wanted to do like neutral colors and just keep it very like, like modern, but with a fun like farmhouse country twist because that's what the rest of my house is like it's not full farmhouse but I do have like elements of that and I kind of want my whole house to blend together and this room even though I loved this design has never really kind of fit with the rest of my house so I'm excited to kind of do something different I'm going to be using some interesting colors and I'm excited so today's project is getting the painting done and that's going to take me quite a while. I have two paint colors that I'm going to be using. I also have to, before I do all of that, I have to get this room cleaned out. Also, my bathroom, which is over here. I have to get that all cleaned out and ready to be painted. And then actually paint. <laughs> and then later on today, when everything's dry, I may even wait till tomorrow. I haven't really decided. But I'll be kind of figuring out what I'm going to do with my decorations that I already have. So... I want to blend some things that I already had, but I also want to use some new stuff. So first, before we get into this, I want to show you the before so that you can get the whole view because this I've already kind of cleaned out a bunch of stuff and you can't really see everything. So let me show you that clip and then we'll get into it. I have already done my shopping. I had a fun time with the girl at Lowe's because it was like her second week and she didn't know any of the answers to my questions. So we stumbled through it, but... I think we got the right things and I'm excited. So let's get started on this project. So this is the before. I got this idea for this design on Pinterest years ago before I even moved into this house. And then I just kind of went with this. So I love the color of the walls like still, but it's been five years and I'm just kind of tired of it. So I'm going to be painting the walls different colors. I'll show you that in a little bit and taking down everything. So my project for the next couple days is just going to be cleaning out everything, getting rid of everything, cleaning everything really well because there's just like little dust on everything. But I'm keeping my white furniture from Ikea, which I do love. I'm going to keep this chair because it will match pretty well. I'm keeping the bed frame, which has like little cubbies in the side, which I really like, and some of the artwork. But most of the artwork is going to go actually because... I just want to go in a different direction. So this theme was like black, white, and this light like seafoam color, but it's really more of a blue. It's not really a seafoam green, but it's so pretty. And I do love this bedroom design, but it's just time for a change. One of the things I do want to keep in here is lots of pictures. So I will show you my idea for that. But for now, it's just lots of cleaning, lots of organizing, decluttering all of that and then we will get started on the actual project. Um, I'm going to show you like all of this stuff I'm going to be working with when I get to it. I can already tell you what is going to be the biggest problem today and that is this cat. <laughs> she has been non-stop bugging me since I started taking stuff out and um it's only going to get worse, I can tell. Okay, I am at the phase where I am moving my furniture out. So I went ahead and put some painter's tape on there so the drawers don't come out. I will be getting new poles for all of these because, again, the cat, like a dog, chewed on some of the poles. So I just need to measure them and start looking around for that. But once I get the furniture out, besides the bed, the bed is going to stay like the mattresses. I'll go ahead and get the headboard out, but this is it. 
and one step toward my goal here. <laughs> I do need to, after I get the furniture out, clean the walls. I need to dust them and then just like spot clean them. And then um, I think the next step will be to fill all of the holes that are in the walls from me like hanging stuff. Oh my God. Like I said, <laughs> this is going to be the issue. I don't know if I should just need to lock her in another room or what, but she's going to be a problem. already like sweating and so tired but <laughs> the next step for me is to fill in all of the little holes in the wall and to take off all of the um what do you call those protector thingies <laughs> so I'm gonna get that done um as I already warned you the cat is having a lot of feelings right now <laughs> so after I get all of this done then I'm gonna go over here and grab these guys and start protecting everything and then I've got my tape over there I'm going to tape up some things not everything because um, I like to live on the edge but that's what is up next I didn't already make this clear this is not a how-to don't follow my instructions I'm gonna try not to give any but I will give you like my methods I just finished taping so all of the tape is done well the tape that I'm gonna do I have a pretty steady hand so the detail work and the corners and all of that the baseboards I can do all of that pretty much by hand without tape so that is what I'm gonna do I'm already sweating like a lot <laughs> and I'm tired already but I feel motivated now that I've got like everything cleaned up and it's ready to go. So I'm going to cover furniture. So I ended up leaving my dresser in here too because it's so heavy and I don't want to clean it out. We're just not in that kind of mood today. So I'm going to cover both of those in my bed. Get the cat out of here. And then I'm going to start painting. I think I'm going to start with the dark color first and then do the lighter color because the bathroom is going to be like a chore. And that's with the darker color, so I think I'm ready to get going on this. So I'm going to cover everything and then we're going to get started. Here are my supplies. I'm keeping it very simple. I found these two little kits. I'm going to use this in the bathroom because I have a very small bathroom and I think this is going to be a little bit more helpful in there. And then I got this little kit, which is perfect because I was already grabbing one of these um, paintbrushes. So I just grabbed this. I thought it was great and then I got another pan because I don't like to clean everything out I'm just not that person um then I've got my drop cloths paper towels or like the the garage paper towels here are the colors I don't you can't really see them that well in here but this is like a dark green with a little bit of blue tint in it it's really really beautiful and then this is going to be the color that goes on the other three walls so this will be my like accent wall over here along with the bathroom so like this section of the room over here is going to be the green and then the grayish will be the other three walls so that is the plan ready to get going <sighs> i'm excited but also nervous because i tend to make a mess so <laughs> fingers crossed that i don't make a huge mess especially because i have white bedding and white white furniture but i am going to cover this all so that it is okay and then we're just gonna make do. I am a messy person when I do home projects, but fingers crossed it works out okay.
this is much more <laughs> work than I remember. I haven't painted in like three years. So I did get my accent wall done. <laughs> it took about two to three coats. I can still see some spots that I'm going to need to go over. Like it's just taking me a lot to get it looking how I want it to. And because of my anti-taping, that's coming to bite me in the ass, okay? So don't be like me. Like I said, do not follow anything that I'm doing right now because I'm not good at it. Uh, if I go over here to the bathroom, bathrooms are the worst ever. Okay, worst. I think I need to take a break. <laughs> but I want to get the, the at least the painting done since I'm already like all messy. There, there's so much paint in my hair. But I don't know if I'm going to finish. It's like 4.26 now. I started at... 8 a.m. This is a lot. I think it's the color and like the precision and the bathroom, like all of the nooks and crannies in there driving me insane. So I might take a little bit of a break and then I'm going to get back at it. <laughs> I'm probably going to hate myself tomorrow, but <laughs> I am going to go ahead and start on the other color too. This should not be as big of a deal because it's just three, three walls and there's nothing like crazy about it. It's just pretty straightforward. There's like light um, switches and two doors, but that's it. So I'm going to go ahead. If I don't finish, that's totally okay. I will finish tomorrow, but I'm just, I want to get it done. At least get the roller part done and then I can do the touch-ups tomorrow. That's the plan. But it's 5.30 now and I'm so tired, but motivated. So I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> This color is obviously still drying and I still need to touch it up and do the trim and stuff, but it's not what I was expecting. It was supposed to be like an oatmeal color, but I don't think the camera is showing that it is a, it has a mauve tint and like the sun's going down right now in this room and I have the windows open and it's, it's straight up mauve. <laughs> However, I don't hate it. Like I like it. You can't see it, but just trust me. It has a mauve tint. But I wanted to go with modern, cool colors and wait till you see my accent color. So I think it's going to work. It's going to be kind of interesting. And I think once it's dry, it will be more of the oatmeal color. I'm like out of breath right now because I've been going up and down this ladder. But I think it will be more of an oatmeal color and it will be um, like a change throughout the day, which I think is kind of cool. This color has really popped like it looks green like a kelly green in the light right here but then on the wall it's like a jade beautiful color i'm obsessed i love it so much but i think i'm gonna call it quits for today maybe i'm gonna order some wing stop because that sounds good and then tomorrow i will tackle the top and the baseboards and around the windows and around that closet so that's the plan for tomorrow. I wasn't planning on this being like a week long project, but I have a feeling it's going to be. I overwhelmed myself today, so I need to chill out a little bit. Um, I'm an absolute disaster at this point. I'm so, so, so tired. So yeah, I think it's quitting time and I feel like I just need to take a shower and relax a little bit and order wing stop because I'm like so hungry right now. I was supposed to cook tonight, but it just, it's not going to happen. But loving my progress so far. Did not think that this green paint was going to take that long. The bathroom is what killed me, but we're still on track. I've got plenty of time. So tomorrow I have a dermatologist appointment and then I'm going to get in here and get the trim done. All the, the finishing parts of this like oatmeal color and then I'm gonna move the furniture back in, I think. That's gonna be the big thing. And then I need to just lay out all of my 
accessories because I have a lot. I have been gathering for like six months and I don't know what's going to work, how much room I'm going to have. I do want to put some stuff in the bathroom for sure, but I just don't know how everything's going to look together. But my, the painting that I have, well, it's really a print, but this print that I bought off of Etsy is going to be like on this wall and it's going to be so, ooh, I'm just so excited. So, so I'm done for today and I will see you tomorrow. It's the next day and I just got back from the dermatologist. I have to go back for some more, some blood work this afternoon just to see like if I'm low in B12. I don't know. We're trying to figure out what's going on. But um, anyway, <laughs> I did get up early this morning because I don't have any curtains right now. And I'm one of those people who needs like complete darkness to sleep. So sleep was really, really crappy last night. But I was up early so I started painting. I got quite a bit done. I just need to finish up the trim and like the top of the ceiling for this oatmeal color and then I'm going to do some touch-ups with the green color. So that is the plan. I feel really, really sore today. I did not want to get up, but I want to get this project done. So the plan today is to finish up the painting, which should take me a couple of hours, and then I'm going to go and get that blood work done and then come back and see if there's any more touch-ups I need to do. And then I'm going to start putting the furniture back in. I really, really want my headboard back. Last night was so weird sleeping in the middle of the room. <laughs> it's just odd. But yeah, that's the next step. After that, I don't know. I may wait till tomorrow to do any of the decorating. Or if I get some more energy later today, and then I might do some more. But... I'm just, I'm tired. I did too much yesterday and I realize that now and I realized it while I was doing it, but I still did it anyway. So here we are, but <laughs> it's going to be a good day. I'm going to get a lot done. I'm over the big hill, I think, on this project and it just like is taking some time, but we're going to get through it. So I'm going to get to work on this and I'll give you an update when I have one. Okay, touch-ups are done. I am in the process of moving the furniture back in. I got the dresser put back where it needs to be. The big thing is going to be my headboard, which is so heavy, but last time I found a way for it to work, so I'm going to try to find that again. And by some miracle, I didn't get any paint on my bedding, which is amazing, <laughs> and I was able to keep my bed in here, which is great. Okay, so I'm going to work on the furniture, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and dig out all of my accessories and see what I want to do with those, but we'll see. I just went through all of the stuff that I've been collecting. I forgot about a couple of these things, which is great. Um, I did buy a new duvet cover, which I had no idea that I bought this, but it has little um, tufts in it, which I think would be kind of interesting, but still very classic and clean. This is my accent color, which I think is so cool and fun. It's just an ugly brown, brownish yellow. I just love this color. I think it's so interesting. So I have a bath mat for my bathroom and then a couple of shams for my bed and I'm going to be replacing the black chevron ones with these. I think it's going to look really cool. I did buy some pillows but I have some already so I might just use those and save those for something else. Okay here is the like accent main accent piece. So this is a print. It's so cool. It's got Big Bend National Park in the background which is Texas's only national park. And it just has a place, a special place in my heart because I'm from West Texas. And I just think this is so cool with the overlays of the like big flowers. And it has that ugly orangey yellow color, which I think is just perfect here. And then I think it's going to look beautiful on this wall right here. So that's going to be basically the only piece on this wall. Then I have this cool shutter that I found at an antique store. And I'm going to use that for pictures. I need to find some binder clips that will work with this because the, I don't know what these are called, but the little parts of the shutter are pretty thick. So I'm going to need something. I thought I had some pins that would work, but it won't. So that's going to be something I need to look for, but I think it's going to look really cool. I need to figure out how to prop it up correctly, but it's so tall and I think it's just going to look amazing and I'm so excited. I need to clean it off a little bit, but 
I've been holding on to this for a while and it's got the color that is in the walls on it, which I absolutely love. So it's just gonna blend in perfectly, I think. So let me get to work on hanging this piece of art and laying out a couple of these things like where I want them. And then we'll just see. Um, one of the pieces that I think is so cool that I found at an antique store that I wanna show real quick, these piano keys. So, so cool. I'm just, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I think they're just so interesting. And this drafting ruler from an architect's office, really cool. And then I'm going to reuse this vase. I think I'm going to put it in the same spot that I had it. I'm going to reuse this little balloon dog and this little container for my books. I'm going to reuse that, but I'm just going to see what else I can reuse. This is a, a piece of art by the same artist that did the print of the Longhorns over there. It's a train outside of Marfa, Texas, which, again, I'm a West, West Texas gal, so this just looks so cool. And I don't know where I'm going to put it, but i got to figure out where I'm going to put everything. So that's going to be the next challenge. Quite a bit of progress but I'm still not close to being finished yet. I did put this back up because I just love my pictures and I want to be able to see them every day and change them out all the time. So that is staying there but I'm not putting anything else in the walls at this point. I just want to keep that kind of a little bit more clean and airy. This looks so cute. I found some medium sized binder clips and that's what I used to put these pictures on here. This is another thing that I can switch out really easily and I think it'll look, it just looks really cute and I love it <laughs> so much. It just looks really cool with the background color here, which is just gorgeous. Uh, you really can see it in this light. It's so, so pretty. It's like a dark, dark teal with just a little bit of like, it leans green, but it has a blue tint to it too. It's just so pretty. The artwork I got up on the walls and it looks really good. I love it so much. Then I got the, like the top of my, um, what do we call this? Oh my gosh, my brain is so fried right now. I'm so tired. But um, I got the top of my headboard. There's the word. I got the top of my headboard done. I think it looks really cute. I like it a lot. Um, these lamps are from Ikea. I've had them for a really long time and they're just really good for reading and I just like the way they look. They're kind of modern, but not so modern that it's a lot. Um, this, I think I got either at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I have a fake plant. I can't keep real plants in my house because my cat, again, destroys everything. <laughs> this little, um, I don't even know what to call that, little cubby for my books. I don't know where I got that. I've had it for a while. I have a black globe, which looks super cool. I think I got that at Michael's. And then I put in the glass base because it matches so well with this. Just looks perfect and I love that. Okay, other things. So I'm switching to all white um, towels. So that towel just needs to go elsewhere in my linen closet. These are ready to go. I broke my steamer, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm sure they'll like relax over time. But I think they're going to look really good, especially with the artwork. These I think I want to reuse over my chest of drawers that's right behind me. I don't know what I'm going to put in them, but I do want to reuse those. Um, this is, my sister made me this like forever ago, and I want to include it somewhere. I just don't know exactly where, but I'm going to try to make it work in some way. And then this is kind of what I'm working off of for my little montage here. What do we call this? Collage of different stuff. And I think it's going to work really well. I'm going to put the piano keys like horizontal like this so that I can use one of these holes to mount them on the wall. Love my Marfa train 
painting that's so cute. Have to include this because my sister and I love the Beatles and we saw Paul McCartney years and years ago and we had the best time and obviously we had the best time and it's just like such a core memory to me. This is like the confetti that fell. I just love this. I need to get the confetti to like move around a little bit but definitely want to keep that in here as well because I just every time I look at it it makes me happy. And then I've got this that I want to reuse also in this little collage and the architecture um, straight edge thing. I don't know what it is. I just know it has to do with architecture and I think it looks really cool. So that's the plan for this wall right here. But I think, I think that I will have room to include this in the same spot that I had it before, which is right here. Okay, so I just need to get these mounted up on the wall over here above my dresser, which this is still a work in progress. But up here, I want to put those three boxes. I put some of my own pictures into some square frames and put those above. These are pictures from one of my favorite places, the canyon, um, Paladura Canyon to be specific. But I just wanted them there because they make me happy and they're not straight and leveled off like I want them to be but at this point I don't care. <laughs> the white curtains I still am feeling like wishy-washy about them. They are blackout curtains which is what I need but I just I don't know. They may grow on me. I'm gonna leave them up for like a week or so. I still have the black ones. I can put the black ones up but I need blackout curtains but I did get the blinds put back up to help also um, keep some light out of my room when I'm sleeping. The bathroom is still quite a bit of a mess right now, but I'll show you the progress. Um, it's a very small bathroom. It totally works for me and I love it. I don't have any issues with it. I just don't spend a lot of time in here. So I did put some things up here above this cabinet and then I put in the rug, which I think looks so good. And I put in a little bit of artwork, um, right here. So I've been living in my new space here for a few days and getting settled into it. I still have some finishing touches that I want to do. I ordered some new poles for my dresser and my vanity. And then I also ordered some different curtains. I like these, but I don't love them. So I'm ordering some different ones. I also have blinds coming for my bathroom, some new ones. I just needed to refresh that. Other than that, I'm pretty much finished. I feel like what I've done here is really good. It's very me, which I love that. Like when I come in here, it's just a reflection of me and where my life is right now. And I love that. This space is very relaxing to me. And I just feel like I've gotten my home back. Like now I'm spending time in every room. And before 
it's not like I avoided my bedroom, but I just didn't like enjoy it so much like I did at the beginning. But let me show you my favorite little pieces of my design. One of the things that I absolutely adore about this room is my headboard vignette. Um, I just love the pieces that I chose and I think it looks really like fun and cool. Plus these pillows, like this accent color is like perfect. Another thing that I love is this painting. It's just so beautiful and just interesting to me. Every time I look at it, I find something new to love about it. This collection on the wall also is another of my favorites. I just like the difference in the pieces and how they work together somehow. And I just, I really enjoy them. This paint color also has totally grown on me. I love it. It's a really nice grayish, but I mentioned earlier, it kind of changes with the sunlight in the room. And I really like that interesting detail. The last thing that I love is this little trio of pictures that I took from one of my favorite places, Paladar Canyon, and I just love how it looks up there. There's no way to keep them straight, I have found. Um, maybe I need different frames, but they just make me happy every time I look at them. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to hang around, and I will see you next time. Bye!